This is Twit. Inside Apple's top secret health and fitness lab. ABC had the video. Um, they actually talked, it's interesting, with Jay Blonick, who's the guy who came over from Nike, the fitness guru who came over from Nike and uh, gave them a tour of Apple's not so secret health lab. But this is an ad. Let's, I think this is an ad. That doesn't look like remember Jay. The, remember the days when Apple would only show you inside their labs when they were in big, big trouble? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, interesting. Does this mean? Uh, I mean, no, this, no, no. I mean, I mean, it's it's a different policy where they realize that there's really very little to be gained by maintaining such absolute airtight secrecy, yeah. and that sometimes if you really want to show off why all the work you put into a product and why it's such a good thing, why not show people how much work you put into it? Yeah, people are interested in the story behind it. This is uh, ABC's Nightline, uh, and then notice. They say, top secret. Look, we're going inside. Don't, don't, don't say it's top secret unless you're being shot at while you're filming. It looks like the top secret Apple Lab contains rowing Definitely. machines, treadmills, and Stairmasters. And lots of people wearing gas masks. <laughs> Those are... They're uh, all Bane. It's Bane. <laughs> I don't think you understand. Well, one Apple of the things Watch. we asked at the event was because, like, like, I have a rowing machine, and I wanted to know if it would track that because a lot of fitness bands won't, and they said yes, it will. And you know, they did spend a lot of time figuring out how to track. I row every day, and machines. that's one of the yeah. big frustrations of every fitness band I've ever used. It's there. All the previous ones are for walking and running. Period. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not helpful if you want to do anything else. Right. So, uh, in fact, I've been I've been known to put the fitness the jawbone up on my ankle. While I bicycled, yes. hoping that it would measure bicycling. So that's good yeah. news. I hope it does do that. Yeah, it does. It's one of the settings. Like It has different modes, and you could put it in the mode for rowing machines or for nice. one of the other bits of gym equipment. That is fabulous. Um, the reason I think that they had masks on is they're measuring uh, oxygen consumption. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's interesting that they're doing that. I'm not sure what that has to do with the Apple Watch. Well, probably because remember it's calculating your how much how much you're exerting and how much you're moving around. It's so the that's VO2 dated. max that they want to measure, right? Um, I, I bet that they're just trying to figure out how to dial in one of those rings to say, ah. here's how much work you've been doing today. Mm -hmm. So they have actual data that can compare it to their guesses and just mm -hmm. to see, just to come up with a good guess. I'll tell you, if Apple's figured out how to do that, that's that's huge. Um, that's one of the well, things that no one else has yet figured. The up three, I'm told, my Dr. Mom, who's a customer, uh, will do that, but she says it's not out yet. We'll measure the uh, rowing and other stuff. This is, but you know, this is ABC really. Uh, hey, look, they got a great interview. It's a great story. People are interested. But this is a, this is P massive PR for the Apple Watch. Yeah. yeah, very much so. And I think it's really interesting that we're uh, Jeff Williams be so out in front, especially because we haven't seen a lot of public uh, appearances from him aside from uh, the Apple Watch most recently the event where he kind of got to introduce research kit but actually being able for him to you know go out to ABC News and be sort of the spokesperson for the health uh, the health initiatives that Apple is doing that's huge that's I mean that's a it's a big sort of step forward into the spotlight for him Apple uh, Jay is Apple's uh, chief operating officer but this is Jay Blonick Jeff is oh, so no Jeff Williams is the chief operating officer yeah. Jay Blonick is in charge of fitness right is Jeff going to show up on yeah, this yeah. later or he was the beginning. He was the guy at the very beginning. He was the guy at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff Williams is the COO, and uh, there's the ABC correspondent actually running on a treadmill so that you believe that she was there. And then oh, more PR video from Apple. There's a lot of it salted in here. We I think Jeff's it. official title is uh, Senior Vice President of Operations. I don't okay. think he's not COO, but he's yeah. the he was he's Tim, took Tim Cook's job. Yes. When Tim essentially was yeah. upstairs, yeah. And he's in charge of all the health stuff at Apple, I believe, which shows you just how important those key sort of Voltron executives are at Apple. He's the operations guy, but he's also got all this underneath him. Yeah. Voltron executives? Well, that's the, that's the joke. <laughs> they, they all kind of combine together to make Apple from yeah. that page. <laughs> yeah. Oh, somebody it's, it's, reminds it's, me that this company, ABC, is owned by Disney. By Disney. Which yeah. has very close ties to Apple. Bob Iker's on the board. Shared board members and... Of course, the Jobs family is the largest shareholder of the Disney company. That would that explains the access. Yeah, that's it's again. It's so it, maybe it's just because I spent the past day just reading about like early Apple and Steve Jobs. He op he opens up the book by talking about how the first time he was sent by the Wall Street Journal to interview uh, Steve. Basically, the first fifteen minutes, Steve was interviewing him. 
as if to say, let's first see if you're qualified to talk to me about technology. And I, I don't think that this ABC reporter had to go through anything like that. So <laughs> this is she she's useful. She, she, she looks I don't know where she is. Uh, and she, she certainly looks capable. But like whether she is capable or not, she would have gotten this interview. Yeah. Well, this is like I said, it's PR. Yeah. Um, is, is, is the is the PR starting to get a little bit oppressive? Because I got to say that I'm starting to tune out a little bit. When Siri starts saying things like, I'm waiting for the Apple Watch. Um, now, admittedly, that doesn't get intruded into, you know, if you say, hey, Siri, what time is it? it you right. have to ask, what's, what are you If only you, you had an Apple Watch, you could ask the watch. Yeah. Now, if she starts saying that, I'm going to get pissed off. Um, but this is a big push for Apple. And you know what, Andy? T to your point that Apple doesn't didn't used to do this until they were in trouble... I don't know. If, I don't. I think you almost could say Apple's a little nervous uh, about uh, the watch and on about its success, and maybe is pushing well, a little hard right now. I, I don't know if they're nervous. I just. I, I do think that this is a device um, that they have extreme faith in. This is an Apple TV where they think this is the time to release the hardware. We don't know right. what it's going to do, but we know we're in this for the long haul. They feel as though if we strike right now and strike hard, we will have we will have the, one of the greatest product launches in Apple history. And I think that's why they're really using every asset they can, prob they can possibly use. I think they also understand that this is not a device that anybody wants. And that's not meant as a criticism of the device. It means that nobody has, almost nobody owns a smartwatch at this point and so nobody can say oh my god i've been waiting for a device just like this not only have, has nobody been waiting for it nobody knows what this device mm -hmm. is or right. why you would even want it for the first place so that's why there's so much education that has to happen in in, in that time maybe one of the reasons why they decided to uh, do this announcement the way they did where they're giving people six weeks before they can start ordering is to fill that six weeks time with education 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 and to say well you know what maybe you were not going to be interested maybe you wouldn't have been interested in this after seeing a few commercials but after seeing six weeks worth of coverage in every media outlet we can possibly get at including high-end you know eight thousand dollar an issue fashion magazines okay i'm lying but you know what i mean uh this is going to be the people that this is going to people get people off the fence from maybe this is sort of interesting to i definitely want to at least take a look at this oh wow i can actually go to my local apple store and try one on that's great